Hello Murray and warm greetings to all who've come to celebrate with you today. You'll recall that our relationship started when I was mere 18 years old, a first year medical student at the University of Queensland. Unbeknownst to either of us at the time, those meaningful but sporadic interactions were to determine the course of my entire professional life. What I also didn't know then, in 1969, is that you were the first Australian doctor to work with Dr. Roswell Gallagher at his newly established adolescence unit in Boston, Massachusetts. Sitting there together in your office a decade later, you modelled a style of practice imbued with developmental understanding, kindness and attentive care, and in so doing, sowed an important seed in the serious-minded teenager seeking your counsel. I went on to train in adult medicine, as you know, and then with your facilitation, became a specialist in adolescent medicine. Murray, what I realise now is that I had already learnt during that formative period the essentials of relating to a young person in a clinical setting. It was all about the pace and ease and natural sincerity that you brought to those early conversations about health and life. These conversations have continued, of course, both as collaborating uh, professionals in, working in advocacy, but also in the context of a warm friendship that has now lasted over 50 years. During these past decades, I've been witness to your many professional achievements and the accolades these have brought. You were the first Australian doctor to be honoured with an AO, an officer in the General Division of the Order of Australia, uh, which included pioneering associations in our field, both nationally and internationally, the impact of which has been immense. So not only are you the recognised father of adolescent medicine in Australia, but you are also one of our global pioneers. Murray, on the occasion of your 90th birthday, I want to tell you that not only um, has your professional legacy been immense, but the affection and regard in which you are held by many people around the world is also enormous. There have been messages that I've received to pass on to you from Professor Susan Sawyer, the president of IAAH, Dr Melissa Kang, the president of AAAH, and there is a tribute to you in the recent uh, listserv newsletter that goes to over a thousand members of the Society for Adolescent Health and Medicine. And there will also be many personal messages which I will pass on to you later. Congratulations, many happy returns and a deep and heartfelt thank you from me.